here we are today at AMR Motorplex, our local track. Got a couple of rental customers today. Gonna, some of them are gonna have their very first taste of karting, some of them are repeats. But regardless, we are here to take care of them and make sure they have lots of fun. And of course, make sure they stay safe. So right now what I'm doing is I am swapping the bolts on these tie rods here because they were rubbing against this brake line here. This here is a, I don't know what you would call this. This is a, it's not a kit cart. It's like a mini kit. It's pretty much made only for rentals. You can't really race this setup here. It has an adjustable seat, adjustable pedals. You don't really want that in a race cart, but it does the job for first timers, so. Okay, here's rental cart number two. Just gotta do a couple of stuff. Uh, just gotta do the pressures. The pressures are set now. They were deflated before. I just noticed now the chain is uh, way too loose. This is a K100, by the way. It's sort of like an adult air-cooled engine. Most adult engines are water-cooled. It's a real nice, I guess you could say beginner engine. For anyone that wants to take a step above from the LO206 classes, and um, other thing I need to do is adjust the pedals. They're, um, I've been told that the driver for this cart is way too tall, so I need to put them all the way to the front as much as I can. Uh, more gas and just a nice little uh, inspection. All right, very quickly, I'm going to show you how to how to adjust the throttle uh, position. You want to undo this clasp here. I already went ahead and did that. I'm going to loosen up the tension here in the throttle cable, and then you want to adjust the throttle stops for both of them. The goal right now is to make it a little longer, so I'm going to have to adjust this one here first. Most chassis use two 10 mils. i do that. Actually, I already have the nut secured in here with the chassis itself. Cool. After you have max throttle go ahead and put as much tension as you can onto the cable that way you can mimic full throttle on the engine itself cool so full throttle has been achieved what we need to do is looking let's see if I can show you looking at the throttle, you want to figure out where the throttle stops moving and then that's where your minimum, that's where your rest is going to be. Then you adjust this stop here, and two, two tens. You do one final check while you're looking at the throttle, basically make sure it doesn't move at rest, pull it, check here the tension. And it doesn't go anymore, so we're at, we're at full throttle and minimum uh, at idle. Okay, I'm gonna check here, it shouldn't go any further up. And when you pull the throttle, it shouldn't go any more down. So we're good on that. It's up to the driver's preference, but for the most part, you want to match the gas pedal with the throttle. And then when they have the full throttle, we'll have it a little bit further than the brake. But like I said, it's up to their preference. So you just gotta at, have them sit on the cart, see where they like it, and then make the according adjustment. Okay, we're in a bit of a delay here. As you can see, that infamous Florida weather has us stopped for the day. Summer rains, you can never predict them. Let's see how long it takes for this rain to go away. All right, that was a quick shower. So, the track. I love this track because they really do take care of it. Right now they're blowing some of the puddles off. In the meantime, getting some gas. What's up, bad boy? Yes. Hook me up, hook me up. Um, let me just double check. For now, the C12. Some of that blue gold. Yeah. Blue goldness. Let's see. What was it? What was it from Breaking Bad? Uh... Oh, blue, yellow, pink. Whatever, man. Just keep bringing me that. Heat. Yeah, it evaporates yeah. really fast. So. Cool. We got our gas here, ready to go. Now, here's the thing. Since it's a two-stroke, you need to mix it 
with some oil. So what we got here, this bottle doesn't have much left, so I'm just gonna kill it real quick. The optimum ratio usually is five ounces to the gallon. There's five gallons in there, so we're gonna go ahead and put, um, so we're gonna put uh, 10 ounces the first time, and then 15 the next time around, because this can only go up to, this can only go up to 18 ounces. So we're, like I said, uh, 10 the first time, then 15. So a nice tip that I've been taught is uh, some of the oil gets left into the mixer right here. So what you want to want to do is get some of the get some of the gas from the jug there, put it in here, and just slosh it a little bit. That way you get all of the oil. And then when you're done, you just put it back in. So where do you where do you hit the throttle here? Pretty much you on the left. Yeah. All right, cool. By wire. All right. Good deal. Sure. Kinda like my car. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Not much to it. It's like the only one I've seen that really does that. Yeah. He, he, he developed it all himself. Yeah, I know he has more than one cart that does it. That's a pretty neat it's steering good, wheel too. This is his cart, my cart's the other. Oh, cool. Alright, so for today we're gonna have to use this, this contraption. It's a little old school, kinda. It's a starter, pretty much. You just have a nice battery there, a chassis to hold the whole thing, an electric motor, a gearbox, and a switch. On pretty much, oh, and the shaft here. Pretty much, you stick it inside the crank here, hit the button, and essentially it turns over the engine for you. You want to use this if you don't have a battery, or if you just have a faulty starter. So that's what we're gonna do today. It's been a good day so far. We have Vicente in the kid cart, the mini kid cart. Diego and Danny over here in the uh, K100 and the X30. These uh, rental programs are great ways for teams to make some extra revenue. It's not always about racing. There's other ways for racing teams to make revenue and that's one of them. More importantly, it helps the community overall. That way it gets, it's like the next step above from racing at K1 per se. You know, after you've been in, after you've been in one of those, <laughs> you'll love it a lot more. It hooks people back into the sport, you know, and we need, we need more of that. And these rental programs, they, we start them from anywhere between as young as five years old and I've seen people as old as about 60, maybe more. So if that's something you guys would be interested, uh, just drop a comment or uh, drop me a DM. It doesn't have to be with us directly, but uh, if you just want advice in general on how do these programs like these work, I'd be happy to assist you with that. All right, Vicente's done for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and strip the cart as much as I can. 
give it a nice cleaning. There's some oil there right there behind the starter. Take off the exhaust, put some WD-40 on it so it doesn't rust. Clean the side pods up because it got some gunk from the rain. And yeah. un poco abajo y frené allá pasando a Daniel y se me apagó ¿Verdad? le damos el arranque nomás acá creo que acá es la llave va acá no ahí sí. y ahí le doy y ya está acabando la serie también le doy media vuelta y ya. Se han pasado la bujía, ¿no? No, pero el motor arranca. Sí. ¿Por qué? Porque acelera y no anda. ¿Por qué? Ah, no, o tiene válvula RIT, RIT valve, de, digamos por donde entra el aire, es como, un, como, una, como una guillotina que abre. Oh, de, de fibra de carbono, tú dices. De fibra de carbono. Los flaps. Los flappers. No, porque yo ahí frené fuerte, uh -huh. uh, pasándolo a Daniel, y cuando volví a acelerar, se me apagó, pero. Quite an interesting turn of events. We had one of these break just now. These are the flappers that go on the intake of the engine. The customer broke this really just by accelerating and braking at the same time, I think. Uh, replaced it and I've installed it now. Uh, after that, I had some camera troubles. So um, basically, what happened after that, I replaced the flappers, got them back on track again. He broke the flappers once again. Um, and then after that, he uh, improved his driving, made sure it didn't happen again. Um, safely ended the day, cleaned up the car, packed it up, went home. And uh, yeah, overall, good day. Vicente, driver in the baby cart, that was his first time ever driving a uh, cart. Daniel races for fun. Uh, Diego races uh, race cars in his home country. So overall, it was a good day of seat time. And if you're interested in doing that as well, you can drop a comment or DM me and I can put you together with a team that will accommodate for you. But anyways, thank you for watching this vlog. Please like and subscribe. It would really help out I'm trying to grow this channel as much as I can. And yeah, once again, thank you. On to the next one.